This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. I'm Primitive Tim, and today we're talking about Florida's non-venomous snakes. Now these are all wild snakes that have never been in captivity and never will be. These are all non-venomous colubrids, so they're not in the least bit harmful to humans. I want to show you the nature of these snakes in their natural environment. So this little green snake right here is a rough green snake, and they're well known for being excellent climbers. This whole area around here is totally green, it's a lot of vines and stuff. What makes these different from a lot of other snakes is they only eat bugs. And so things like the cicada you can hear in the background, and they eat spiders and pretty much dragonflies, other bugs like that. Now they're generally found around water because a lot of insects depend on water. They're very good to have in your garden or in your yard somewhere because they help control insects. The rough green snake has great camouflage with its texture, scales, and green coloration. It also mimics branches being blown by the wind by bobbing its head back and forth. Now this incredible little snake right here, this is the ringneck snake. And they're one of my favorite small snakes. Now one of my favorite things about this snake is of course that adorable little ring around its head, but also the belly. The belly is bright orange and then toward the tail it fades into a bright red. And so this is its defensive mechanism because it can crawl along the ground pretty well hidden with its dark body. And if something attacks it, it'll flip over and show that bright orange belly. And that'll show any predators that, hey, this guy could be venomous. And actually, ringneck snakes are slightly venomous. However, to a human or any other larger animal, that venom is pretty much useless. For this week's quiz, the question is, what species was the first snake that I ever caught? Was it A, a black racer, B, a yellow rat snake, or C, a coral snake? Comment down below with your answer and check back later in the show to find out what the true answer is. This is a black racer, and they're one of Florida's most feisty little creatures. They have a pretty nasty bite, but what's much worse than their bite is their musk. Right back here is their cloaca, and they emit this horrible musk. Why'd you bite yourself? He's rattling his tail too. It's another defensive thing. And uh, normally if he rattles his tail in the leaf litter, that will uh, make quite a bit of sound and I'll know to stay away. So right back here on the cloaca, ugh, there's uh, the musk that comes out and it smells terrible. And so you miss that musk in hopes that I'll get disgusted and let them go. Now, after you've handled them a little bit, they get a little bit tired and so they'll calm down a little bit. And you see, he's too, he's too exhausted to run away. So he's gonna sit here and stand his ground. But um, he's not extremely inclined to run off. And he'll do this funny looking thing where he slithers backwards but faces me the whole time but it's all just ooh. apparently you got a second wind here <laughs> you can see it, there's no there's no blood being drawn here and their teeth are really small and, whoa and needle like snakes don't want to bite they just bite when they feel threatened that's all look at that supporting her whole body from her tail like that that's some serious strength. And uh, any snake that can climb trees, you're gonna see this sort of strength in them. Now these water snakes are heavily preyed on by egrets, herons, and uh, even birds of prey. And so they're a very defensive snake and they kind of take things to the next level. And so, we're gonna show you guys a few encounters that me and one of my friends have had with these snakes and just how crazy they go when they think that something's trying to eat them.
It's really important to remember that these snakes would never bite someone unless they were picking them up off of their basking perch. Now, on the flip side of the crazy Nerodia, there's also snakes like this guy who are, ooh, who are really calm and uh, they don't even try to bite. So, uh, ooh, there's a little bit of hissing going on, but he's all right. So we're gonna let this guy go on his way and uh, have a good day, little snake. <laughs> That's cool. The answer for this week's quiz was A, a black racer. And here's a picture of me in my first catch. Thanks for watching this episode on non-venomous snakes. It's so important to remember that none of these snakes are harmful to humans, even in the least bit. So until next time, try to find a new way to appreciate nature. Eastern indigo snake is one of the most iconic and the largest native snake in North America. Without our help, the indigo snake, along with some of the other reptiles sharing the same habitat, may be lost forever. This is ABTV.